Let's see. Let's... What the hell is this? Okay. Oh, Mersen raided me eight minutes ago and I didn't even figure out. Oh, thank you. For a new small streamer, it's a honor for me. For team viewers, it's maybe... Uh, I think uh, infinite time, the amount I have normally. This is a crazy deck, guys. Don't try this at home. To be honest, uh, yeah, just uh, don't do this. I don't know if I can... Uh... Oh, look, I have to press here. <laughs> Lippy. Okay, against Lippy, first round, we simply don't play anything. Just our... Thinning tools. These we can keep in hand. I mean, we can keep in hand. We don't want to keep them in hand. But we will not play Ceres, so... What's even the point? But we can definitely just mulligan them. The two twill six skirmisher are good, but we need to find the Birna Bran. So we take all the mulligans that we can. Okay, Brockvar Hunter into the Crystal School is very, very, very risky. So we just go for the Crown Messenger for now. Good enough thinning. We have the two skirmisher. The problem is that uh, as long as we do not have Birna Brand, those are dead. Want to use the onslaught as much as possible. So this is always. Problem is that this is bad. But we can play the series uh, in round one. Can we? Oh, we can't. We can't. We play up at, until a certain point and then we just uh, hope to draw the Birna Bran. That's the game plan also with this hand. I mean, there's nothing really to be done. We just uh, do like this. We just uh, put in this one. Put this one here. Get something going. Get the riders. Defend the bleed with the Zwalblood totem. Snowdrop. And just pass. On the next turn, we just pass. Can we actually get rid of the snowdrop? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. If we get rid of snowdrop, this is not that bad. Problem is that we have to ditch everything on the snowdrop. And that the Blood Eagle... Oh no, it's fine. Go for the Snowdrop. Go for the Thinning. Play this one. Just go for the Stunning Blow. Get this one out. This can come here. We can go for the Uncrate Rider next turn. If we want. Or we can also pass. And he is in a not awkward position, but uh, he's in a strange position. Does not have any graveyard. 
We want to take um, as many mulligan as we want. Pirna Bran is uh, among us. Ah! What the hell is this? What the hell is this man? Maybe now we can win. He just bricked, so we must go on. We cannot play that many things though. One, two, and then that's it. Two cards, three, if we want, with the Mardrum. Okay, let's, uh, let's move on. One here, we don't hit the Birna because maybe he is doing even fine. Hit them here. Just see. A lot of tempo. He, is, he lost a lot of tempo with that. And uh, Blue Boy Lugos. Is some point, but it's not that big of a threat. Can maybe murder him now. Well, I can also do like this. That's more than fine to me. It's better to go somewhere else. Um, no, maybe it's better here. It's probable that he answers with the Svalblood totem now. I want to go out of this uh, game, uh, of this round as soon as possible. As soon as possible, let's go out of the round. Oh, Mersen raided me 8 minutes ago and I didn't even figure out. Oh, thank you. For a new small streamer, it's a honor for me. For team viewers, is maybe uh, I think uh, infinite time the amount I have normally, or the maximum amount I have uh, usually. Okay, what can we do now? This is a crazy deck, guys. Don't try this at home. To be honest, uh, yeah, just uh, don't do this. We can pass and defend the bleed. The problem is that he can play his shit without uh, any problem, and on the in the short round, uh, I'm pretty done. He has the adrenaline. Okay, let's try to force the things out. Playing the things. Just the Mardrum. We can just go for this. Get one point here. And another point here. We are out. Hopefully he does not have anything. I don't know if I can... Uh... Oh, look. I have to press here. 24 points, this is maybe the best outcome I can uh, possibly get. He wants uh, the... the tie though. I mean, against this deck, I'm pretty screwed, so... If we draw Birna, it's... Uh, maybe... Maybe we can compete. If we do not, uh, it's just over, so I cannot play anything else. Party of 37. <laughs> yeah, I know my stream is not that good right now. But let's thank again Merson for, uh, for the raid. Okay, you need romance. Mm, 
Let's thank him again just for the new newcomers, uh, supporting the newcomers. Ooh, with the Birna Brown, we can stand the bleeding. Birna Brown is uh, huge here. Uh, what can we actually want? Uh, we don't want the bricks from the Drummond Shield Maiden. We have only one uh, Brock for Hunter to proc the series. Uh, I don't know if even if we can uh, risk to, to mulligan here. I don't think we can risk the mulligan. We can mulligan the Morkvarg. It's not very useful here. But this hand is good. I just must uh, keep it. The Birna should uh, do his stuff, uh, her stuff, to let us in the round. Lippy as expected. Now we want to stand the bleed. We can open up also the Blood Eagle onto here. I don't understand why the Knickers comes out immediately every time. I think it's bugged. The RNG of the Knickers is, back, is bugged. There's no other, uh, other way around it. So even if I burn here, it's still uh, 14 points plus the leader is 15 points. It's a tie. It's a tie. Is there a way we can... Uh, I mean, Hern Kaduk. We can hit uh, the... The Witcher with the Skjordan and with the ping from the leader. We can scare the ass out of uh, him with the Birna. Okay, unfortunately it's that one, but I mean, the deck is so crazy that uh, I can understand that. Don't need to ping uh, right now. It's useless. Oneiromancy. Snow drop, so we have the Morkvarg. Dedicated Morkvarg. So he wants to go deep. Um, but maybe we can also let him think about not uh, going that deep. We have also the Great Sword. Uh, we have the Great Sword. This is maybe even enough for the great sword. This four, five, six plus two is eight. We go ahead and finger crossed. He plays the Giga Scorpion decoction. Haikaduk is in the grave, and a lot of this is in the grave. Let's try with the uh, with uh, that. Try with the great sword. Get uh, one ping here. We are ahead by one. I think uh, we will uh, bleed us uh, until the end. Problem is that we have the series, and we do not have any way of uh, yeah, standing blow. The only one uh, he placed two. The other one was in the grave. Could have waited for the for this. He wants my Harald. I mean, he will play up until the last card and with the series finisher as uh, as always. The Morkvark is useless here. Morkvark is useless. We can just play Skjordal. Hope for the best. Don't think anything matters uh, right now. He will outpoint uh, me every time. The Brockvar Hunter. 
We can hit with the Morkvark now. It's a big hit, but we cannot play pretty much anything, uh, anything more. Hit with the Morkvark, which is good. Got another point here. He may pass out of this. We play the Drummond Shield Maiden. If he does not. This is tough. I don't have enough points. It's 20 points, the last card, so... Okay, so... The last one is a Ceres or something that can tutor Ceres. Let's see. If he plays Ceres, he has no no way of winning. Now he does not have any removal. Problem is that we invested also the Drummond Shield Maiden. So we have four less points. Things are looking pretty tough. But we have one card. We are, can, we are, we are one card up, which is not important against... Uh, a short round uh, lippy lippy thing. Hermione is our best bet. Just two points more and we do not want the shield maiden so we always just mulligan something. We can mulligan the stunning blow. We find Hermione and this is the maximum amount of points that we can uh, we can have. Guess that's it. We have no proactive plays, but uh, a proactive Harald, proactive Brokover Hunter, proactive Ceres and Crate, proactive Ceres. Do we need to play for the Drummond Queensguard? I mean, guys, if this Mersen, if this goes off. Your raid is well done. Okay. Thanks. So we just go for this, man. Finger crossed. Finger crossed, guys. Ah, come on! It was a 50-50! Ah, this is so bad. Curse of Corruption, he has also the heat wave. So we just wait. It's useless. Ah, even the 50-50 we lose. We lose also the 50-50. So it's always uh, Harald. He has the Course of Corruption that he had in hand. Does he have also the Heat Wave? I mean, we cannot win without the Greatsword, so I think we will uh, find out. Like the Giga Scorpion decoction. No, it's just Ermion. Ermion here. Delirium here. One two pinks. And we are always going for this. Not hitting the six. We just hit this. And just eat, uh, I don't know, whatever. Doesn't uh, change anything. Let's see if uh, he is able, as uh, me, to draw only one. 
He already discarded them. Yeah. So it's uh, Harald the Cripple. Into what? Uh, we have 13 points. We are not that uh, that bad right now. We can just uh, not play for the Greatsword, but play for the Raiders. We can play for the Raiders. So it's always... Uh, It's always what? It's always Giga Scorpion the Caution. I don't have time to calculate. I think we don't have to play for the. for the Greatsword. If he has a bad card, maybe, maybe, maybe we can still do it. Heat Wave, okay. And we do it. Uh, so, Merson, thank you. It was uh, definitely worth it. I think you can uh, agree with this. It's so strange when people just uh, are uh, uh, BMing you with the, the thing because they think uh, another one, the code. Oh, Decode, thank you for the following. I'm not used, uh, to be honest, uh, to the stream, so... Um, I don't even know exactly if I have the automatic uh, warnings or not. But definitely this was a very, very nice uh, game. I think you agree, guys. So... I'm just trying uh, strange things. I like the deck so far, but uh, it's pretty inconsistent. You know, when you try things, you're just uh, just uh, yeah, trying also suboptimal stuff and uh, see what happened. But the game was uh, really cool. Now we are against lockdown. Okay. Lockdown is a very tough match. We have more provision. But uh, yeah, the rule is always the same. Um, we have our uh, thinning tools. It would be really, really difficult to get uh, the series. We are on blue. Bad news. But we can swarm the board. So the Demon Worship is useless, uh, pretty much useless without the leader. We are on blue, so we try to avoid getting bad cards. The Morkwarg, we want to use it uh, on another round. And we definitely mulligan also the Shield Maiden. Uh, the code. Good to see off-meta decks being played. Yes, this is uh, not only off-meta. This is uh, experimental build. So it's not... Uh, I know it's not uh, uh, optimized yet, to be fair. I can see the clunkiness. It's uh, really difficult to pull out uh, a good series. But out of the thinning tools, the series is uh, maybe the best one. And I think there is a way to do it properly. And that is fine, yes, it's fine. Just uh, just playing things. Okay, now we can just go Crown Messenger. What's the what's the thing here? We have this one we want to preserve. This is difficult to use. This we this uh, we can answer other stuff. Uh we'll see. The other thing, crossbowman is good. Now, what we, we want to do here, here we want to make uh, him playing the brigade, the thinning uh, guy, I don't know, the Nausicaa brigade, something like that. Uh, awkward, so we want to counter pretty much uh, everything that he plays. Right now I think it's, uh, it's this one. Yeah, it's definitely the stunning blow. Um... There's a consideration also to just go Hermione. 
at least until we can. I think I like the Hermione. We just thin out other things and the Delirium can be awkward uh, later on, especially if he plays Ramon. Yeah, I know the 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 arrow thing is uh, is very good to explain uh, to explain stuff, but there's no not every time. Uh, I mean, using the arrow to explain and uh, playing is not uh, is not uh, easy. You see the delirium uh, here. Ramon was uh, exactly something that I was fearing, uh, and uh, the delirium is uh, useless uh, if they play Ramon. So now it's useless to play uh, around uh, the the thinning uh, soldiers. We can hit uh, some um, assimilate uh, engines. I don't know if I want to put this one. Maybe we we can. I mean, there is a consideration to go Brockvar, uh, Brockvar Hunter because if he wants to lock him, he must do it Im it immediately. But the problem is that uh, he is filled with the armor. So here is just a stunning blow. Uh, chilling. And I think uh, we will go for the Crystal School and uh, the Brockvar Hunter. So to protect uh, him from, uh, from locks. It's the only thing that we want to protect because I don't want to commit the Great Sword. Don't want to commit the greatsword. They have the Yennefer's invocation. It's good if we can uh, win, but it's very difficult to win against this deck. Problem is that if I play Brockvar Hunter now, he can just assimilate it. But I guess still that's the best uh, the best option we have. He's seeking for some good uh, Duchess informant. Uh, how long uh, have you been playing Gwent? Uh, quite, uh, quite a bit since the um, open beta. The open beta release, it's three years. Four years. Something along the, the lines. I can play the Brockvar Hunter now. Play the Crystal School. Don't know. There is, uh, there are many things that we can do. If we go for Brockvar Hunter, we gi give him uh, some Duchess Informant, but uh, still we don't have uh, mm, many more better options. And maybe we can delay the develop of his uh, thinning tool. This is okay. Okay, the thinning uh, do not bother me. Because, uh, you see, now he thinks, he, he thinks out the things, but uh, it's useless because uh, now this guy can uh, recharge in the next turn, so I can play also the Mardrum for 4 damage. If uh, he waits for the thinning, then I do not have uh, uh, the charge available. Obviously the problem here is that he has a head. But, uh, you know, you cannot have everything. We can think about playing the Greatsword uh, also later on. We can try to force the things out with the, with the totem. Maybe it was uh, even a bad idea to play the Brockvar Hunter uh, on the Melero because uh, it's, it will be a little bit uh, difficult to just uh, go for this blood Svalbol or the totem if uh, they lock something. They do not have locks. This is maybe the best... Uh... Ah, my name. You haven't seen my name. The code 789 again. <laughs> Thank you for uh, for uh, just spending some time with me. It's uh, Mirage. I mean, my in-game uh, name. You see over here, Mirage. Right now, I think we must get... Uh, the points. 
we can uh, even think about uh, removing the assimilate they're getting the ping and uh, let's see hopefully we we are out of the round this is good for us problem is that uh, i mean this is really difficult we have a lot of cards we didn't um, thin uh, as much as we would like to do and i think uh, we cannot uh, we cannot push we have to wait for him to get to do the first move problem is that we have a lot of bricks we do not have the beer now open with the skirmishers we pretty much have nothing so our sit situation is very very tough um we have uh, only one warrior in the grave so we are always mulliganing away the great sword in this situation the drum on the the skirdal is very good we mulligan away also the raiders we can think in this situation if we manage to do that uh to just play for golds so that uh, he cannot uh, use uh, duchess informant on or stuff you are from the beta to the code uh, yeah nice to see um, players playing for a long time and still enjoying the game and my favorite faction uh, that's uh, that's difficult actually because um, maybe i have some favorite decks i really loved my spellatel that i played uh, during the during the beta for my first uh, let's say pro rank pro, pro ladder it was called uh, uh, then okay we have the skirmisher but we do not have uh, the birna bran so i oh know we have the birna bran sorry <laughs> i didn't see it so this is the best outcome we always mulligan this one and we always mulligan uh, nothing because we have the wabjorn only one um, blood eagle we have no bricks uh, from the Saracen crate, so we have the perfect uh, the perfect hand. So bronze gods everywhere, yeah. That was uh, that was nice, but not just for the bronze gods, but for the dynamics. I mean, uh, at the beginning of uh, Homecoming, uh, there was this uh, bad thing that uh, the game had no progress. So you play the cards in the first round, in the second, or in the third round, and they are pretty much the same uh, The same cards. They have the same power. Mm, there's really nothing, uh, nothing uh, uh, interesting to do with them. So now we just uh, go for the stunning blow here. Um, in the open beta, there was the, just a climax. So your bronzes were... Uh, uh, like not very good at the beginning and then they start um, some of them like the neckers like the doblatan um, guardian like uh, some skellig pirate stuff uh, and so on so they just uh, uh, come online in the third round so you just try to build uh, uh, power and uh, you play the first round and the second round differently from the 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 other ones River Hunters, yeah, River Hunters were a little bit annoying because it was like a, a parabolic, uh, uh, like exponential growth. So it was really a little bit uh, tough, even though you have to commit them on the board. So they are maybe good for that reason. So we are ne never uh, going to play Harald. We can play the Skjordal. We can also just Giga Scorpion the Coction. I think I like the Sklordal, even if they take this with the um, with the Yennefer Invocation. We can also Birna Bran as soon as possible. No, we cannot actually because we want the Black the Eagle out. We want the Ceres. We want quite a few things. We are not out. Uh, out of danger. Holy moly. The crossbowman. 
trackers, yeah, casino dwarves. <laughs> but then also, if you think about other decks, I have a, gu a guide on YouTube, for example, uh, uh, one of the last decks I, I made. It's on uh, um, Griffin Witcher. Uh, it's not, uh, it's an Arch Griffin Erland, but not an all in uh, version. So it's very, very interesting. And uh, also, one guy messaged me uh, today, actually, and said that he went from rank 10 to pro rank uh, with the, that deck. Uh, so, pretty unusual, uh, unusual things. Right now, what can we do? We don't care about boost, so if uh, he takes the Morkvarg, uh, we, are, uh, we are fine. We just play the Morkvarg. Get some uh, other things going. We have also the Blood Eagle here. So we have the Vabjorn into Blood Eagle. Problem is that we do not have any anything to damage uh, our stuff. I don't want to play the Riders. Yes, I have a channel, but it's uh, it's new, so it's. Uh, I don't have uh, that many videos, but uh, they are very in-depth uh, guide also. And about the artifacts, uh, I'm with you, to be honest. I don't like artifacts, but I also made uh, 35 pages of analysis, to be honest, about uh, Gwent, and I sent uh, the the analysis uh, to to the devs uh, when Homecoming came out. You can find also a forum, uh, a post in a forum, which talks about uh, the issues. And uh, artifacts uh, are not bad by themselves. They are bad because you can stack uh, uh, power. You can stack. Also, the leader is the leader is the same. The leader is like uh, um, power that you can use without the opponent uh, being able to interact with it. So now we just uh, go for the Giga Scorpion decoction, I think. Yes. Just the Giga Scorpion decoction. So, uh, what's the problem? The problem is when you are able to just stack power with the opponent with, that is not able to interact with it. We can see it also a little bit. Uh, uh, um, there is a soft, uh, still a soft uh, thing about. Uh, how can I say it? There is uh, still uh, this issue in a soft way because uh, the of the un uninteractive uh, playstyle you are uh, you play uninteractively and uh, the uninteractive style is even better if you can stack order artifacts and stuff we saw what uh, cd project red uh, uh, needed to do with uh, the spear for example and the shield uh, and all the crazy thing that uh, came uh, came out at the beginning of uh, homecoming Harald into Brockvar Hunter. I don't want to Harald into Brockvar Hunter because I don't want to give uh, him any good gold, uh, any good uh, bronze to interact with. Uh, I don't want to give him anything. I can uh, think about just Vabjorn now uh, for the same reason. Going for this, uh, getting the Ceres. I don't want to give him any good bronze. So like this is fine. If uh, he just removes my shield maiden, it's okay. <laughs> yes, the sea heal, the seal thing was uh, terrible. I I saw so many people just quitting uh, for uh, for the, the the game state right uh, right there. But fortunately, they are changing uh, stuff again for the best, and the game is very it's more enjoyable. I mean, I was always uh, l watching the opens and stuff and uh, some streamers, but I stopped actively playing the game uh, myself. So this was expected that we have the Birna Bran into the two skirmisher right now. So problem is that we will uh, draw the Shield Maidens. Still not a big issue. We don't want to give him a good, uh, good uh, bronzes. That's the only thing I don't want to give him. Okay, one. Okay, two. We just play this. This can be good because we can still proc the uh, the, the next one. The the second one. Yeah, the game is way way better. 
Way, way better. Duchess informant, he thinks he can clog my front row, but I don't need the front row anymore. Problem is that we cannot answer this. The Duchess informant is coming out. You see the Duchess informant. That was what I was afraid uh, afraid of. We are not uh, that behind. He already played uh, the usurper. He already played uh, the masquerade ball. He already played pretty much everything because he played the Ramon. He played the Joachim. He played the Roderick. He played the well as the Coupe de Gras, he does not have anything. I don't want to give him the great sword, that's for sure, so we can just uh, go on with uh, with this. Give him another lock, uh, another shield made into lock. Don't care. Just need to play around uh, around the stuff. Maybe the next, uh, yes, the next turn we can go for Harald uh, into the Brockford Hunter. If he, if he does not lock uh, the Shield Maiden. You see another one. So that is his best, uh, his best card. He has Yen for Invocation again. I can play also the Riders. Yen for Invocation is not that scary. Play the Rider, play the Harald. Uh, we can play the Harald, and even uh, then, we can even do not uh, ping uh, with the Brockward Hunter. I mean, it's uh, it's not that uh, that that easy. We can also use the Great Sword if he has something to to answer uh, to answer it. Nothing came to my mind. Uh, I don't know, maybe this is a mistake. This can be a mistake. But we are putting out uh, more uh, threats. So there is the Great Sword, uh, there is the Shield Maiden. So we have a uh, couple of threats. And he already played the Duchess Informant. This, uh, the the Yennefer Invocation is, is fine. It's fine for me. So now we just play the Raiders. If it's a hit wave, we win. There is nothing good here to, to target. We can also Harald the Cripple immediately. Is that losing us any value? I don't know. Maybe we should just Harald the Cripple. Harald the Cripple here. We can just wait. Uh, see what he do. It's a lot of points. He cannot answer uh, all of uh, all of our stuff, so we just continue generating threats, and uh, and see what uh, he can answer. Mm, it's just more points. It depends on the move. It uh, it depends if we can uh, get the order. It's more uh, more points. If we cannot get the order, it's less points. I mean, it's not less points because we have a six. Yeah. But uh, yes, I can definitely see see the point. Pick for this, uh, just going for this, uh, going for this, uh, getting this, uh, and I think we can just uh, pass. Yeah, I'm playing uh, I'm 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 used to play a little bit slow to be honest because uh, I try to think out uh, all the moves. GG for sure. That was a really nice game.